right, today is, uh, what is today, the 8th? Yep. August 2019. Well, it's nice that I got that YouTube studio now. Now that I can actually change a thumbnail. Instead of looking like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I could just imagine somebody seeing somebody going... And somebody watching a video. Kind of strange that all of a sudden you would sit here and make videos and they would be good videos and that's what that's the way a person would look. But like I said, man, I'm telling you everything's gonna fall apart real soon. I just got done watching a movie on YouTube. It was a free movie. And uh the movie wasn't no good. Out of all the people that were saying it was a good movie, it wasn't no good. It's no good that when everything starts falling apart that people are going to get drunk and get high and, you know, do things that they shouldn't be doing. I know one thing. I have, I have admitted that God has shown me where to go when, the time, when everything falls apart. And, uh, and even uh, one day when God was talking to me in Kentucky, I mean in, in Nebraska... Uh, I never got a word in either. I never got a word in, and uh, it was about my family. But again, I had two dreams where I died where God showed me where to go. And I don't think it's really worth taking people, family members, to where God has shown me where to go when everything falls apart. You know, I, t I, I, for the longest time, I wasn't going to tell anybody about that, about what God talked to me about. But I know, I know, I know what's, I know what's going to happen. Just like watching this movie a minute ago. Here's the deal: the stuff that I've talked about in my videos, until everything falls apart out here, nobody's ever going to listen. Oh yeah, I'm sure I've had a couple people that like the message, but people are not going to listen until everything falls apart. That's why I was hoping I could be able to take my family and go where God has shown me where to go. That way when everything falls apart, they can go, well, Jeff, you were right. You were right. But that's fine. You know, if people want to do and think what they want to think until everything falls apart on everybody, that's fine. They can keep on thinking what they want. Like I said, God has shown me some of the most beautiful things that anybody should ever know. Be Christ-like and humble and you, you can lose the Holy Spirit. And as long as people are living in sin, they don't have the Holy Spirit working in their lives. Unless, unless they have a repentive heart or a repentive mind. As long as it doesn't bother people with what they're doing out here, and they're living in sin, the Holy Spirit isn't working in their lives at all. I mean, you're going to have a repentive heart or a repentive mind to maintain the Holy Spirit working in your life. Knowing that what you've done against God when you've done something against Him. If you follow through the temptation and you're willing to recognize, He's going to eventually quit convicting you if you don't. And I keep on getting convicted, but it's still no good because why follow through with the sin? Why follow through with the sin in the first place? That's what everybody needs to wake up to. But I sit here and watch this movie a minute ago about a virus. All of a sudden, everybody lost power and all this stuff. It's a free movie on YouTube. And the, the, the thing that really got me, the very first thing that was absolutely horrible about this movie is, yes, I know when people are out and about, when people need to use the restroom, they need to use the restroom. But I don't think in reality... In, in reality, I don't think that if I that if I were to take someone somewhere, uh, that I'd want to be with some uh, that I'd want to be around a whole bunch of people that are doing the same thing that they're doing right now, and that's exactly what people are going to be doing when everything falls apart. They're going to be doing the same thing. I made a comment in the comment section. What was the very first thing that I saw that was wrong with this video? This girl pulling down her pants and peeing in front of everybody. See, everybody out here thinks that's a normal thing. I understand when somebody needs to use the restroom, they need to use the restroom. There's no doubt. But 
Again, what are people out here doing that's wrong that could mislead children's minds today? Oh, oh, homosexuality is okay. Same-sex marriage is okay. Oh, it's okay to have the same-sex parents and, and bring a child into this world. Uh, no, it's not. What do people do at school? They have children take take showers in the same shower. I mean, in the same shower facility. What does that lead? To bad thoughts. Bad thoughts. That's why people are doing the things that they're doing today. Everything's okay today. But I'm not going to sit here and think that it's cool that, that a person just pulls down their pants and pees in front of everyone. I remember one time, though, I was with my friend, and he peed behind a, a, a building, and this woman came around the corner, and it was at night, and, and went berserk, berserk on my friend. And I understand to an extent, I understand to an extent why somebody should get go berserk when they see somebody doing something wrong. But, hey, if it was the rolls were turned around... Hey, I doubt some man's going to get mad because a woman needs to pee. But I sit here and I watch this video and then I saw people getting high, people getting drunk, uh, infidelity type of things. And I was like, this video isn't no good. And then all of a sudden just cursing and, uh, and hatred. And this is exactly the type of stuff that's going to go down in everybody's lives soon. This is exactly what's going to go down in people's lives soon when everything falls apart. Everybody's going to care about themselves like they're doing right now. Most Christians care about themselves and don't care about anybody else out here. That's why they're not telling the truth. If they were telling the truth, then they would actually act like they were caring out here. But instead, most people are lying out here, so they're not doing any justice whatsoever. It's like people might as well just shut their mouth. Should not even make videos on YouTube professing God and professing anything if you're not even going to tell the truth in the first place. If you don't even know the truth, you'd better off not saying anything. But if you think that I would take anybody and everybody's going to live like sinners, you got something else coming. I know right now, if I had already went where God showed me where to go, I wouldn't be living this lifestyle now. And guess whose fault that is? my fault it's my fault that I put myself in a position where I come back to a town where all my friends all my life have all been sinners and when I and when they witness me talking about God they don't want to hear it <clears throat> it's okay it'll fall it'll fall apart on them soon real real soon it'll fall apart on them one of my best friends for all these years quit quit having anything to do with me as soon as I brought up God. As soon as I brought up God, never wanted to hear anything from me again. Tried to get in, in touch with him on Facebook because, I mean, it's not like I haven't been friends with his whole family all these years. And people are doomed soon, not knowing the truth. Literally doomed. It's okay if everybody wants to be a part of this wicked world. They get what they get in the end. Like I said, I can't even tell when somebody shares one of my videos, but I finally saw the duration. Oh, it went up a couple of minutes. Oh, that's unbelievable. You mean people actually starting to watch a couple more minutes of my videos? Wow, that's unreal. Like I said, I made a big mistake not long ago, and I really do believe God gave me a sign to go to this place when all this Jehovah's Witness thing that they were having a convention here in Oklahoma City. And yes, I wasn't going to go up there 
and be like most uh, most people out here that make videos about being in front of Jehovah's Witnesses and trying to make them look like fools. Yeah, that's exactly how most Christians try to be when they're around Jehovah's Witnesses. But I made a big mistake because I even thought to myself, boy, this would be a good time to reach out and touch someone because I know their Bible is filth. I know Jehovah's Witnesses' Bibles are filth. I mean, look, the scriptures are not there anymore that proves that Christ is God. They've taken them scriptures out. So as, long, as far as people are concerned, he's just a prophet to them. And surely they'll be mistaken soon. Like I said, people aren't ready for the things that are coming. I'm just wondering how many Christians were just supposed to sit around on their butt and not do nothing whatsoever. I mean, everybody sits there and says, lay it on Christ. Put it on Christ. Well, I think Christ gave us a lot of clues how we should be in the end days. Who's to say that we were supposed to put it on Him? He told me to have food. Don't you think that if He told me to have food, that you should have food? But right now I'm running across a lot of Christians on the internet that all of a sudden decide that there's no such thing as a rapture. And I'm sitting here thinking, uh, yes, the word rapture isn't in the Bible except for this study Bible in here for some odd reason because it decides to put part of your denomination in this book. I mean, a study Bible, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I mean, what, it, what, what? Was God going to kill everybody that was living for Him? I mean, when the meteors fall, I mean, if you're living on the coastline and everything, I mean, yes, it would only be that quick that you would die, but, I mean, do you really think that God was just going to sit here and kill people that were living for Him? I mean, I have my five-time confirmation on a rapture. I mean, maybe everybody... Well, no, hey, how, this is what I want to know. Let me pause it for a second. Okay, in the end days, people, young and old, would have visions and dreams. Let me ask you, so should, th this person made a video, uh, made a comment yesterday in a video about, uh, about we should watch people's visions and dreams. I already know that we should watch people's dreams. Not everybody that has dreams are of God. But I'm trying to sit here and think. I'm trying to sit here and think. Why would I discredit everything that's been told out here? I mean, is the testimony, a person's testimony wasn't going to be a vision or a dream of, the, uh, of them coming to Christ. A testimony wasn't going to necessarily be a vision or a dream unless that's the way God, unless the way, that's the way God gave it to them. You know, some kind of vision or a dream, their testimony coming to Christ. Well, I mean, so what are we supposed to forget? All these people that had visions and dreams of a rapture? Then why would it be at the end? People sit here and say, oh, it's post-trib. Why would it be at the end? I mean, so people are going to get raptured and then come back. But when you're glorified in that body, how are you going to come back as a spirit? It ain't happening. There are people that are supposed to survive. Just like this one guy sit here and say, it tells you in the Bible everybody will die. Where does it say everybody will die? Where does it say everybody has to die? If he doesn't come back early, there will be no more flesh alive. I mean, how could there how could how could somebody declare that everybody will die? Doesn't sound like that to me in the Bible. Oh, that's right. I haven't read the whole Bible. That's <laughs> that's what you get, Jeff. All I know is I'm still not going to ever be fooled by Christians out here that don't know what they're talking about. Saying you can't lose salvation when you can lose the Holy Spirit. If you can lose the Holy Spirit, you don't have Christ. Just like Romans 8 9 says. People don't know how powerful that scripture is. When most people find out they get cast into the lake of fire because they never had the Holy Spirit in the first place working in their lives. That is what the that is what the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is. It's rejection of the Holy Spirit. Not having the Holy Spirit in your life. And that goes for non-believers and Christians alone that are not living for God in obedience. That's how you live for God is in obedience. Following his word, living by his entire word and not just by one scripture here one scripture there, yeah this world is ruined it is an apostate church today 
The church is apostate. They're preaching the message of Satan. That's exactly what they're preaching. Just like Satan wants people, to, their message is to be lead people astray. So yes, you can lose salvation if you can lose the Holy Spirit because you wouldn't have Christ and all the wages of sin would be death and you're not covered under the blood. That's exactly the truth. I'm telling you whether people want to believe it or not. I, I mean, what really gets me, I have asked God lately, why did you make me a watchman if you knew I would never read the Bible? I have asked that, people. I have asked it. I mean, I, you know what? Believe me, when I start reading the Bible... I fall in love with it. But what, what is making me not read the Bible right now? When I do read the Bible, I can read page after page after page after page after page without stopping. I don't know if I was ever supposed to make all the videos I have telling people all the truth and all as much as I know. I know people don't want to hear the truth unless you sell it to them. And I'm not willing to sit here and sell it. You either wake up to the truth or don't wake up to the truth. No habitual, hypocritical, unrepentant sinner will ever inherit the kingdom that is a Christian, Bible-believing Christian, or a non-believer plain and simple. You either repent and turn from your wicked ways or you don't inherit the kingdom. And it's not just 1 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Revelations. There's things you just start living a sinful life and you sin 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 and you're not right with God. Oh, you don't just sin once and lose all salvation unless you break those 1 Corinthians or break the Ten Commandments because I know those Ten Commandments are still valid today. No liar will ever inherit the kingdom. No unrepentant liar. No thief, no murderer, no unrepentant. None of them will ever inherit the kingdom. That's the truth. So look at all the liars out there with the falsehoods. Practicing preaching. And most people have hate. Most people that talk about once saved and don't care about this world and are a part of this world, they have hate in them in the first place. They literally have hate in them in the first place because they're not of the Father.